There's zero chance I fail. There's zero chance I quit. There's zero chance I give up. I've come so far. If you hit me, girl. He got what, four? Hold on, Mama still got a throw. So he got four. Babe. <laughs> While the kids are enjoying s'mores, I've got a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn. Mmm. 75 hard is fun. Good morning. It's day 60. 75 hard. And I'm still at the campground. Let's get going. I begin every day by reading my Bible, reading my 10 pages, journaling, and then spending a little bit of time in Duolingo. What y'all know about that instant coffee? Tastes like crap. Better than nothing. All right, got my gallon of water. Got two liquid IVs in there today and did throw some creatine in there. This works really well for these. I don't have to worry about like how many water bottles do I have to drink or whatever. I just drink one of these things. And I think this was like 99 cents or $2 or something, so. All right, gonna be a morning run today. Not sure mu how much I'm gonna talk to myself because I look like a freaking weirdo out here running by everybody's campgrounds, talking to myself, but uh, we'll see. Terrain out here is a bit treacherous. There's lots of big rocks and stuff. It's not ideal for running, but I figured it would give me the opportunity to just speak without uh, being worried about if I'm disturbing other people or looking like a weirdo. Um, it's day 60, y'all. Day 60. I've got to tell you, if you're planning on trying to attempt this challenge, I think one of the key things you've got to prepare yourself for are days 37 through 50. I really think that those were the hardest days of the challenge because at day 37, that's a halfway point and you realize, holy crap, I'm only halfway there. And you really start to feel the fatigue at that point. And mentally, you realize you still have a long ways to go. And then, you know, fighting through. Once you get to day 50 though, I think days 40 to 50 were my hardest. But once you get to day 50, it's like, okay, I'm two thirds of the way through. I've only got, you know, less than 30 days to go. And just as I said a couple weeks ago, like now it's just a downhill journey because I've got just a little over two weeks to go. There's zero chance I fell. There's zero chance I quit. There's zero chance I give up. I've come so far. So if you're gonna do this, just prepare yourself. The day 37 through 50, it's gonna be tough. You may get through those though. I think that you'll be successful. See, I'm not moving quick. This is not easy terrain to move through. It's basically just a field and this grass is taller than it looks. Even though it was recently cut down, still a good six inches deep. So I'd be careful not to roll an ankle or injure myself.
Okay, I have no idea where I've ended up out here, but I found this clearing, this opening. I'm gonna take it back a little further and see if I can find the trail again. <laughs> I'm totally off the trail. Well, I'm completely lost right now, but I've got to admit, even though this is really tough terrain to run on, and I'm sure my feet are gonna be sore just because all the little muscles that are getting used as they contort and adapt to the uh, uneven terrain. I gotta say, man, I love being out here. There's not a single person anywhere nearby. It's just me and you know, nature, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Okay, I think I found the trail again. <laughs> How the heck I ended up way out there, I don't know. Okay. I was working y'all. Oh man, sweaty mess. Let's see, show you what we did here. All right, come on. There we go. 3.78 miles, 48 minutes, 589 active calories, 691 calories. Um, see heart rate, I was mainly in zone three, even zone four and zone five for a little bit. Um, that was rough terrain, I was, I was really, on look at the little map like that's i ran all over the place <laughs> uh, i'm assuming that like this area here is where yeah i was running along the fence line right there and then this is where i kind of like was running in like just the middle of nowhere then i found the trail again over here <sighs> all right little update it's about 10:45 now me and the boy went and got showers, got cleaned up. The girls showered earlier while I was on my run. So I don't know where they went. I guess they went fishing. Um, oh, I just got a text. They want to go to the nature center. So we may be going to do that. And then uh, hopefully we're going to go play some disc golf here pretty quick. We'll see. He looks so frozen. He's like, I don't want the testing. It's tight in one, two, oh no, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so it's about 1 p.m. Uh, we ended up going into town and buying some more food and stuff. Raccoons actually got into our stuff last night. Somebody didn't close our ice chest and a lot of the sausage and stuff I made, the raccoons ate it. So I ended up buying some pre-made fajitas that I'll throw on the grill tonight. Um, they're just pre-seasoned, whatever, you know. And right now I've decided to walk over to where the Frisbee golf um, is going to be. The family's going to drive over there and they're going to meet me there. 
but I figured this could potentially be an easy way for me to get my second workout in today since it's just going to be a walk. I don't have a whole lot of options out here. And also I am on vacation, you know, so nothing wrong with enjoying the scenery while I've got the opportunity. Okay, so the walk over here uh, was 35 minutes, 1.86 miles, 211 active calories, 286 total calories, nothing special. I'll get the rest of the time in um, on my way back. For now, we're going to try to figure out how to play disc golf. Oh, and I am going to break my fast because I hit 18 hours right there. So I'm going to end my fast and I'm going to have this little protein shake doodad here. Okay, so it turns out I should have just kept my walk going because we ended up walking like so far to find number one. And what we realized is there's a whole nother parking lot over here. And apparently this is where you're designed to start at and go like number one, then go all the way around, then come back here. And right over there is number 18, which is where you would end up. So yeah. So Brighton's gonna take the first throw. You aiming down there by them trees. You're gonna have to throw it hard. Okay, all right. That's where yours landed. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Go for it, babe. You're gonna have to throw it harder than that. Uh oh. <laughs> Era made disc golf thing. Mmm! Dang, it feels good. So, Daddy won. Daddy won. You hit me, girl. He got what? Four? Hold on, Mama still got to throw. So, he got four. Babe. <laughs> Babe. You have to focus. I was talking. Dang. This is your six one, yeah. All right, so Dawn's been throwing these really well. I want to make sure I, I capture so this. Good at this game. Wow, that was good, actually. Brian, watch out! Go for it, babe. Is that pose necessary? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is my fifth throw. Ah! Okay, this is my six. Oh, Corinne, you messed me up. I didn't do anything. That was my six. All right, this is six, Mama. Oh my goodness. What the? <laughs> All right, someone threw their thing way off in here. See. Where'd it go? Oh. Okay, this isn't as bad as the last one. Ugh. There it is. Alright, it's about 2.30 now. We had a fun session of disc golf. We didn't really know what we were doing, but we uh, figured it out and we had a good time. Um, now, I'm gonna walk back to camp. I think it'll be about another 40 minute walk or so, so I should definitely far exceed uh, any of my requirements for today. And I'm already at close to 20,000 steps as it is after all the movement that we did there. So, should be a pretty good day. All right, I made it back. So there you go. You can see those two walks, 1.86 miles there, 1.81 miles back. This last one was 35 minutes. Um, the one before was 35 minutes. Um, I took a different route on the way on the way back. I thought it was going to be a longer route, but I guess it was a shorter route. But yeah, uh, over 22,000 steps so far, so doing good. I'm about to eat a couple of these bad boys. You've seen these before. Only difference is... I got a chocolate rice cake because the raccoons ate my other rice cakes. I had to go buy some more. I've never had that, so we'll see how that tastes. All right, me and this little campground grill are becoming fast friends. Like I say, raccoons did get into our food earlier, so I bought some of these. These are just seasoned beef fajitas. 
if you can't tell I love fajitas so uh, it's not a problem for me at all but we'll see how these end up tasting definitely don't look like the fajitas I normally make I don't know who knows they may be awesome we'll see what they end up tasting like I didn't do anything to them except take them out of the package, so Let's see. Okay, I think I can say with full confidence, not the best looking fajitas I've ever made. And they're all wet like that. It's kind of like sous vide. It's real difficult to get the Maillard reaction, that charred reaction. Um, but we'll see how they taste. That's what matters. pretty trash to be honest with you. Ugh. If you're making your fajitas using these pre-made packs, y'all, I mean, yeah, it's edible. I'm gonna eat it, but there's a better way. Ugh. All right, and here's dinner. I've got a pack of that instant rice. Uh, this is a Good and Gather cilantro lime instant rice. I've got five ounces of this trash fajita meat and then one link of this uh, jalapeno popper sausage so I'm excited about that and there's the view not bad while the kids are enjoying s'mores I've got a bag of skinny pop popcorn mm. 75 hard is fun I love it. Okay, so it is 8.20 and I just finished up my gallon of water so I can finish this up. All right, so let's see how we did today. 1,470 calories burned, move calories, 132 exercise minutes, 22,824 steps, but I can guarantee you I'm over 23,000 because I've had my watch off now for a couple hours while it charged. There's my three workouts, so the morning run, the two outdoor walks right there. Let's go out to my fitness pal. Again, today I ate more than I normally ate. I ate 1,900 and two calories. So, showed you everything that I had. The only other thing that I had that I may not have shown you. Oh no, I showed you the Skinny Pop popcorn. So, that's it. So, 1900 calories. I started fasting around, uh, right at 7, 7 o'clock, say. So, that means I can break my fast around 1 tomorrow. And last but not least, let's go out and just make it official. On day 60, first workout, second workout took my picture in the bathroom of the communal bathroom of the campground that was awesome read my 10 pages just finished my gallon of water down there then promptly tried to do nunchucks with it and hit myself in the nose um, I followed my diet and I didn't have any cheat meals or alcohol because I don't drink and I uh, I don't have any social media so that's actually my challenge and with that Day 60 is complete. All right, so I am going to sit here by the fire and watch my wife uh, complain about how the smoke is burning her eyes and watch my daughter burn things that shouldn't be burned and enjoy our last evening here at the campground before we have to wake up in the morning and pack it all in. If you've watched this far, thank you. I hope you come back tomorrow for day 61. 75 hard. Only two weeks left to go, y'all.